All right, meteorologist Ian Davison and the weather pros, liveweatherblogs.com. Time for a weather outlook and severe weather also outlook. Today we are under a marginal risk of severe weather in Roanoke Valley and parts of Pennsylvania, West Virginia, etc. We're taking a look at the uh, Cape here. I mean, I Cape uh, Helicity indexes here. Seeing what we may see, and we do get some blues on here, so that tells me one thing that there is going to be some helicity in the atmosphere to allow damaging winds and even some isolated tornadoes. We're taking a look at a going to be looking at a, a sounding here to see what it's reading out for the area of Roanoke this afternoon. And like I said, this is going to be a multi day severe weather for the Midwest into the east as you see it's just going to build as we get closer and closer uh, along the week into the weekend I'll pull this back try to feed this in again first one wasn't loading very well so what I'm going to actually do here while I wait for that to load is go to the storm prediction center because like I said categorically today we have a Marginal risk, this may be up to a not slight risk in the afternoon update, but in some areas from Carolina's north. Uh, but you can see Roanoke, Lynchburg, uh, West Virginia, Ohio, Pen Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, all in the potential for severe weather today. Damaging winds and hail, the most likely can't rule out tornadoes, obviously. And then we get the enhanced severe risk, and I'm going to think this is for probably a high wind event. Let me just read into this, just because of the ability of the wind. Yeah, and also some uh, damaging winds and tornadoes also. So you see where the slight risk is, where the uh, enhanced risk is. Large area of enhanced risk across Oklahoma City up to Indy. We move on to the day on. Saturday, and you can see the marginal risk goes from Philadelphia back to Charleston, West Virginia. And then the slight risk picks up, and then the enhanced risk back to Waco and Dallas and areas such as that. Another thing, the high pressure will be off here. So when this high moves, that's where this is going to be. It's called the Ring of Fire, and the Ring of Fire can sometimes be good for linear thunderstorms or multi. Uh, what do you call it? Quasi-linear convective systems or squall lines at even the ratios in some points and parts. And with the heat being in place, we could have some long-lived lines of storms. We have to keep an eye on it. We'll move to 4 to 8 to see what you hear. And you can see another thing in the Tennessee Valley. And like I said, this is... We'll then move east. Just the probabilities right now are too low, so they always do that. Uh, of course... Soundings aren't working very well today. Um, let me try another PowerPoint, see if it was just that sounding. Because that sometimes does happen. So all I'm saying is we need to be very careful on what we see. I'm actually going to go through the soundings here because it might be faster. Even though it's not, it'll be the observed sounding so we can see kind of what we're looking at. Pull through here. It's a very interesting site, Storm Prediction Center. So I, I suggest anybody uh, go through it. It's really a neat. It is a neat uh, site. Let's see, the latest was 12Z. We can pull that up. We can pull Roanoke up here. We can look at it. Hodiograph don't look too great. Uh, when this was taken, I mean. There is a little turning of the wind. It's nothing so severe that I'd really, uh, on that sounding data, that I'd be really crazy about. But let's just move to another uh, model, see if it's just that model that's having a problem putting out data, which is sometimes the problem that happens. And we'll pull convective. We'll pull the shear like I was pulling. Let's pull it back. There we go. A little, sometimes I pull this a little too far. It's hard to keep this on 
on site sometimes. Let's see if this works any better. Sometimes it's a model situation, sometimes it's the site, so we have to watch that closely. Uh, so we do have this uh, in the GEFS. So future modeling would show that Roanoke actually has a chance in, in, a, in a potential hazard type. It's not a tornado. There is some rotation available. Um, this is this afternoon. We do have 1,400 Cape uh, ships and uh, Senator 1. So we do have a, a chance, but the main risk would be damaging winds. The winds do increase with height. So we shall see how this all comes about. Stay with the weather pros, liveweatherblogs.com for all your latest weather information. And we'll keep you up to date. Meteorologist Team Davidson, thank you for watching. Have a great one.